Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Lumen Field here in the Soto District of Seattle. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Seattle Seahawks. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Back to throw, Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of four, not enough, and it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Partner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside, stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. Now on second and 13, Smith. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third and four. Now Smith. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. And how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Now Smith, and his throw here is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno out of throw. This is the tight end fan. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Now Gino on first down. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Yeah. 
Throwing again is Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? On second down, it's Walker. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. They'll try and run, Walker. Touchdown Seahawks. Ken Walker taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? A carry for Foreman. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. 
But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Darnold from the gun. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And they're going to get this up to midfield. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target. Able to pick up another first down. Now Foreman. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Darnold throwing out quickly here for Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Darnold. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He'll get it inside the 20, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there, the big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Darnold from the red zone now. Dancing to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Touchdown, Panthers! D.J. Moore on a touchdown throw from Sam Darnold. And the Panthers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Throwing now is Gino. On the slant, it's Fan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Gino. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 39, Smith eluding the pressure right. He's got his big tight end, fan. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. a quick slant to lock it. And they'll get this down to the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Back to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. From the gun, here's Smith. Flush to his right. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Noah Fant in the final seconds of the first half. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So the potential could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away from the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. One second, all that remains. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A final shot before the break. Darnold looking long for Thomas. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. After the interception, here's Darnold. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. Here's Foreman. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's Darnold. Looking sideline incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. 
Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Kick it away is Pinheiro. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed. So they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays. Make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there at a first down. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Smith now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Smith. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. They'll run with Foreman. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day.
A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead, Walker. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, but it's going to be second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. They're going to look to throw. He's got fan. He just keeps on connecting with him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. On first and 10, Smith. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Panthers are right back in this football game. Darnold and the Panthers now with a first and 10 here at about the 32. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, and turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Jarnold. And he's got the hook up to Moore. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Darnold on target to Moore for the Panther first. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Darnold to throw again. He's got a man. That's Marshall. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. down Darnold throw left side complete that's more and they're going to work this down to about the 32 yard line all right let's just put it on the table real quick here this is two minute drill you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver yeah you think they'd be ready for that that time they weren't first down now but that clock rolling now Darnold Flushed out right. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. So oh, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. A gear for Walker running right. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Dallas up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Once again, it's Dallas. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Ready, 
Down to a knee, here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.